exactly what you want to see. Let's run this puppy in. Score a touchdown and tie this game. Life, run for your life, touchdown on one play. Worked on this in practice. Touchdown. It's up to Kelvin Benjamin. This is all you, buddy. Kelvin Benjamin for a touchdown. Oh, he toasted his man. Holmes toasted his man. Spin move. Oh! Oh! What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another video here on the Water Juice channel. Uh, I know that the video is probably glitching out on you guys right now. You don't have to adjust your uh, your screens or you don't have to refresh the video or refresh YouTube or anything like that. That's on my end. Uh, the video, for some reason, the camera is like flickering, like it's glitching out and stuff. I don't really know why it's doing that. I've tried a couple different things, looking it up, seeing if I can figure it out. If you guys have any ideas of why it's doing that, leave them down below in the comments. Um, but I wanted to to put out a video not only addressing why this is happening or not only addressing that this is happening but to say that I'm going to be doing no face cam videos for a little bit uh, there still be videos but just no face cam videos um, for just a, a little bit until I can figure out what the heck is going on with my camera why it's like glitching out because I don't want you guys to have to watch this every time so for the foreseeable future, there won't be any face cam in any of my videos or live streams, um, but hopefully that'll get fixed pretty soon and we can get back to you seeing my beautiful, handsome face. But the, the reason this video is out, not only just because I wanted to tell you about that, but because I wanted to talk a little bit about the dolphins. So if you can bear with me for about four or five minutes of the, the screen glitching a little bit, I, I, uh, I promise it'll, it won't be that long of a video, so... Let's talk a little bit about the Miami Dolphins. They are a very interesting team in the NFL this season. They went from starting one and seven. <coughs> <coughs> they went from starting one and seven this season to flipping that completely in a 180, and now they are eight and seven. They went on a seven-game losing streak to start the season and then completely turned that around and are now on a seven-game winning streak. It's the first time in NFL history that a team in the same season has lost seven straight games and then won seven straight games in the same season. So it's a crazy stat. It's a crazy season the Dolphins are having. I don't know what happened where they just like flipped a switch or whatever in the in the organization or on the field or whatever happened i don't know but it, it's working out for them they are currently as of recording this in the playoffs as the final seed i'm pretty sure and it's interesting to discuss if the dolphins are going to make the playoffs now this is a little bit more personal to me because as you guys know i'm a patriots fan but if you do not know my brother who is a little bit older than me uh he is a miami dolphins fan don't ask how we it, it's a it's a long story so he's a miami dolphins fan and i've been teasing him throughout the season because i always tease about the dolphins i don't like the dolphins i, I hope they lose every game because that's what a rivalry is but i've been teasing him the start of the season they were one and seven they were left for dead and then they've completely just turned around and they've won seven straight games two has actually looked not horrible <laughs> like he did in the beginning uh, and then during the injury that he had where they had Jacoby Brissett playing and all that kind of stuff. So the Dolphins have done crazy in this second half of the season. They are looking like they're going to be a playoff team. <clears throat> now with two games left in the season, will they actually complete that process and actually become a playoff team? I don't know. They still have to play the Patriots one more time in the final week of the season, week 18. I'm not sure who they play coming up this weekend. I'm not 100% sure who they play, but they do have to play the Patriots one more time. And the Patriots haven't looked good the past couple of weeks, but who knows? Maybe they could turn it around too. Maybe Mac Jones can turn it around too. But two has actually looked good. I mean, the, the Dolphins have gone from wanting to ship Tua out for Deshaun Watson to now on the seven game win streak they're actually utilizing Tua in a way that builds on what he already does well which is 
throw the short passes, get the ball out of his hand quickly, do a little bit of trickery, do a little bit of play action, some sort of misdirection, all that kind of stuff to, to kind of keep the defense on their toes, and then let Tua kind of manage the offense. Because Tua's not going to be a quarterback. I don't think he'll ever develop into a quarterback that can take over a game like a, a Patrick Mahomes or a, a Josh Allen or a Kyler Murray, Aaron Rodgers or, or Russell Wilson, like quarterbacks like that. I don't think he'll ever become a quarterback like that. I think he'll be in the realm of a, a Carson Wentz type or a, a Mac Jones type or someone that is good enough to win you some games and can make some plays here and there, but is mainly just there to manage the offense and, throw some some good passes to your good receivers and they do have a really good receiver in Jalen Waddle and they even have a really good tight end in Mike Isecki. So Jalen Waddle is amazing and I think Tua if he just stays in this role and the Dolphins do exactly what they've been doing these past seven games plus that defense has finally turned it on it's like the defense they had last year in 2020 when it was one of the top three defenses in the league they were just turning over everybody last year they finally started to pick that up. Xavier Howard's been amazing. That linebacking core has been very good. The defensive line has been really good. So they're finally starting to become what the Dolphins, or what I thought the Dolphins were going to be, at least on defense, in the offseason, coming off of what they did last year. They're finally starting to be that now. So <clears throat> who knows what's going to happen in the next coming weeks, the next couple of them. Uh, with the final two weeks of the season, but we will find out. Plus, we get a little bit extra football with that Week 18, so that's pretty cool. That's always good to have extra football. So we're going to find out in the next couple weeks what happens with the Miami Dolphins. Will they make the playoffs? Will they not make the playoffs? Will they beat the Patriots? What's going to happen? It's pretty exciting. Um, it's a little bit more exciting to me because I'm more involved in it because I'm a Patriots fan, so it's definitely very exciting for me to see what's going to happen with this Dolphins team because they're hot right now. I don't know if there's a team out there that can compete with that defense the way they're playing right now. So we're all going to find out. Let me know down below also uh, about the, the camera situation, what you guys, if you have any suggestions on how to maybe fix it or what the problem could even be because I don't really know what the problem could be. So let me know down below about that and let me know down below what you guys think about the Dolphins. If you guys are excited about the Dolphins or surprised by the Dolphins at how they're doing. So let me know down below in the comments about those two things. Thank you guys so much for stopping by and watching. I'm sorry you had to watch my face glitch in and out <laughs> every five seconds or whatever it is. But hey man, I wanted to get this video out to you guys. So thank you guys so much for stopping by and watching. Make sure to smash that like button, hit notification bell, and the subscription bell as well. Join the Juice Club and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.